Hi, Terrace kids. Welcome to Bible lesson time. We are going to think and talk about how amazing Jesus is. We're going to hear about a new word that Jesus is invincible. So we know that Jesus came to life, he came to earth, lived life as a man, then he died, but he rose again. And his power is what we're talking about today. He is invincible. That means nothing, nothing can beat him. No one can beat him. So let's take a moment to pray and open up our hearts. Wave up your hands and clap and bring them to your lap. Jesus, we thank you that you are powerful, that you lived and died for us, that we could live forever with you. We pray that we would know about you even more today and bless your name, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. After Jesus rose from the dead, he returned to heaven. In the Bible, there are lots of letters that were written to the first churches so that they would know how to live for Jesus. Today, we're going to look at an exciting part of the big God story. John, one of Jesus' disciples, received a vision, kind of like a dream, that tells us about how Jesus is king and he is invincible. The reason we know about John's vision is because he wrote it down as the book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Bible. In John's vision, he saw Jesus in all his glory. That means he was, an, he was amazing and full of majesty like a king. The Bible says that Jesus had white hair and his eyes looked like a blazing fire. Jesus' feet looked like shiny metal and his voice sounded like rushing water. His face shone like the sun. What an amazing vision John received about Jesus. Our Jesus is powerful and loving. He's invincible. John wrote many chapters in the book of Revelation about his vision. He learned amazing things about what was happening in heaven, when the, what the angels were doing, and how every day the heavenly beings were worshiping God. They shouted, Hallelujah! Wow, God reigns. He is king. At the end of time, Jesus will come back to get his bride. Who is his bride? The Bible says that believers in Jesus are his bride. It's the church. He'll come back for us, and Jesus will be king forever because Jesus is invincible. In John's vision, also, he saw Jesus fighting against all that is bad and evil in the world. Jesus is faithful and true, and he fights for us. One day, he will completely get rid of all evil, and everyone will know that he is Lord and he is invincible. When that day comes, it'll be so amazing. We'll get to live in the presence of God, and he'll make everything new. In Revelation, it says, There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for everything old will be passed away. New things will come. What will it be like when we're not sad or hurting anymore? What an amazing, wonderful day that will be. When Jesus makes all things new, the Bible says he'll create a new heaven and a new earth and live there with us. A beautiful new city will come down from heaven for God's presence. John saw this beautiful city in his vision. It didn't need the sun or moon because God lights it himself with his glory. God will live with his people and everyone will know that Jesus is invincible. Do you remember what happened in the very beginning of the Bible in the big God story? God created the whole world and the first people. They lived in the Garden of Eden and they had a perfect relationship with God. In his vision, John saw that one day all things will be made new. We'll be in perfect relationship with God again and everything that was broken because of sin will be gone. What an amazing vision John got to see. He wrote it all down and we have it in our Bibles to encourage us today. John saw some amazing things that let him in on what was going on in heaven and what will happen in the future when Jesus returns. What an amazing vision John got to see. He wrote it all down, so we have it in our Bibles for us to encourage us today. John saw some amazing things to let him know what's going on in heaven and what's going to happen in the future when Jesus returns. So what's so wonderful is that we can look forward to the day that Jesus returns and makes everything new. There will be no more sadness, death, or pain, and we'll get to live with God forever. Everyone will know that Jesus is our king and that Jesus is invincible. Nothing can take him out. Nothing can beat him. He's already won. Kids, this week, think about how you can live for Jesus every day. Think about how you can be on the lookout for what Jesus is doing and be ready for him when he returns someday. Have an awesome week, and today, remember to honor your moms. Tell them Happy Mother's Day and show them how much you love them. And have a great week, you guys. Bye.